Hey, are you thinking about moving to St. Thomas, Ontario, and you want to know all the pros and cons about living in the area? Well, that's what we're going to do today. We are going to talk about all the pros and cons about living in St. Thomas and what that might mean for you if you're looking to move here. And we're going to get after that right now. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're looking for a place to find out everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good, and yes, the bad about St. Thomas, Ontario, London, Ontario, and Southwestern Ontario, well, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon for notifications so you'll be the first to know about the current market here in the area. My name is Daniel Parker Smith, and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you who are looking for help in moving in and around the area of London, Ontario. Doesn't matter if you're moving in three weeks or three months, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and my team and I can get you started on making a smooth relocation to the London area. So like I said earlier, today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of living in St. Thomas, Ontario, what that might mean for you if you were looking to move here. It's very important for people to understand the area, what's available to them and what they might struggle with if they were moving to the area before they come here. That's my job is to help you understand that before you come. Well, let's just talk a little bit about the cons before you before we get started on some of the good stuff. One of the first things is the shopping in the area. So St. Thomas is about a population of about 40,000 people. Now, the population there, a lot of them work there and live there, but a lot work in London as well. And so a lot of people come into London to do most of their shopping. There is a small mall there, but it's I guess what some people might call sleepy <laughs> and it doesn't have a whole lot there it has uh, a bookstore some small stores and it has a theater there the theater is lovely my husband and I actually go down there quite often but that's a different point point. Um, and the, as well the downtown core is not a bustling uh, thriving downtown core like you would see in some of the other major centers it's not a real business center it's uh, more of a small town type of downtown corridor narrow streets older buildings um, but you know there's some really great shops in there as well but that is one of the drawbacks is and one of my friends said to me we don't have a winners everyone loves to go shop at winners but about 20 minutes away you can find a winners here in London one of the other cons is the weather. Now the weather can be a pro and a con, but knowing that you live close to Lake Erie, if Lake Erie is still not frozen and the water has stayed warm, you are looking at having a possibility of a lot of lake effect snow. So the lake effect snow is where the water is warm and the cold air comes over and it actually dumps a lot of snow onto the ground and to the land at the other side of the lake. And so you can end up with large accumulations of snow, which sometimes can end up in whiteouts and bad roads in the winter time so sometimes the weather can be not so great and in the summertime although the um, average temperature is in the mid 20s sometimes it can feel up in the mid 30s even up to 40 with the humid humidex that we have and so it gets sticky and you know like more of a tropical place but that's because we have the lakes around us and so sometimes in the winter time it can be not so fun and sometimes in the summer if you're not good with all the humidity you might find that a bit of a struggle one of the last things about about St. Thomas is that they have restaurants there. There's a lot of great pubs there and, and uh, everyday food, but high-end restaurants that you want to go to and have a real fancy sit-down meal, five-star restaurants, uh, you know, there's a lack of those and people end up coming into the city or heading down to the lake where there might be more of a high-end restaurant for um, eating. So that's one of the drawbacks that there is if you like to eat at high-end restaurants. However, 
lots of great pubs there. My husband and I often go down into St. Thomas based on where we live in the city. We actually can zip down into St. Thomas quite easily and it's very nice because the people are so friendly in St. Thomas and the service is always wonderful. Well, let's get on to some more fun things to talk about. What are some of the really good things about living in St. Thomas that might weigh out the pieces about that aren't so fun? Well, there's a joke that goes around that says, you get every 25% more for your money in St. Thomas than you do in London. It stands to be a little bit true, not so sure if it's the 25% anymore since COVID and home prices have really increased, but we do see a difference in the home values in St. Thomas as compared to London. So an average three bedroom, two bath home in St. Thomas will run you about $738,000 whereas in London, that same home might run you about $833,000. So there's a little bit of a difference. So that's one thing you wanna make sure of. And now that being said, London has very different values depending on the area of the city that you're living in as well. But St. Thomas on the whole has, um, their home prices and the average home prices have stayed a little less than London. So people like to go there because they can afford to still buy there when they can't afford in the city. So that makes it um, uh, attractive to first time home buyers and people who are trying to upsize a home and maybe, um, you know, can't afford a home, say in London's North End, but they can afford a newer home in the St. Thomas area. So what's one other thing that's really good about St. Thomas is the taxes. The city taxes are very reasonable. They are 1.55% of the assessed value of your home. So that means that when the city assesses your home, which is not the market value, the market value is what your home would sell if when somebody wants to pay for it. But the assessed value is what the um, assessment authority, municipal assessment authority, feels that your home is really worth and then they apply that percentage that they have against the home value and come up with your taxes. So uh, at 1.553%, you're paying a very reasonable amount. And in fact, between 2021 and, or 2020 and 2021, that, per, um, that percentage of home taxes, the 1.55, actually went down. Kudos to the municipality of St. Thomas for dropping their municipal taxes in a time where things were so challenging. Let's go to the next thing. Uh, let's some fun things about St. Thomas. So what's one thing that we do love about there? The location. The location of St. Thomas is amazing. So St. Thomas sits south of London between St. Thomas or between London and Lake Erie. Uh, Port Stanley is at Lake Erie and about halfway between is, is St. Thomas. So St. Thomas is literally 15 minutes from the lake and it's about 20 minutes to downtown London depending on traffic. But so it makes it easy for people when they wanna just zip to the lake, they can feel close to it, they can zip into London when they do need to. It is close to the US-Canada border, just zipping down over onto the, onto the 401. We're close to the 401 at St. Thomas where we can get on there, go to Toronto, go to Niagara Falls, go to all these wonderful places. So the location is really awesome, as well as you have so many back roads through the farmlands that you can actually go right up the coast of the, like along the, shores of Lake Erie and enjoy so many of the other smaller communities that are around there. Another pro for St. Thomas is how much um, is available for them to do outside. Like there's so much to do in St. Thomas. They have markets, they have museums, they have great history. Uh, it's the railway capital of Canada where they literally it was a junction between Buffalo and Detroit um, you know back in 1914 and they literally had a hundred trains going through the city in any given day as well as they have some great history connections to Barnum and Bailey Circus from the early 1900s 
But then again, they have so many places outside. They have right in the city, there's Lake Margaret, which is a community that has, sits around this conservation lake. And it's just a beautiful way. It has walkways around it. It has Elevation Park. So Elevation Park is a trestle bridge that goes right over the highway that you can go walk over. It's really quite unique, a unique space. And it's so beautiful because there's so much greenery around it. And then we have Pinafore Lake, or Pinafore Park. And we also have the Trans-Canada Highway Park which has multiple um, points in St. Thomas. Now the Trans-Canada Parkway is 24,000 kilometers across Canada uh, that connects there and we have multiple points that are part of that. It's a continuous trail that goes right across Canada and multiple points of that are right in St. Thomas. So if you're looking for a place that's family oriented, you're looking for a place that you can do a lot of things outside that has rich history, that is so close to the lake, that has good housing prices, St. Thomas might just be the place for you. So if you're thinking about moving to St. Thomas, well, why don't you go ahead, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and my team and I will get you started on making that smooth relocation here to the St. Thomas area. And if you found value in this video, well, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon, like I said before, so you won't miss out on any new videos that we put out about the area. The best way that you can help us is by liking this video so that more people can see this and have value that they find in these kind of videos as well. Once again, my name is Daniel Parker Smith. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to chatting with you soon and seeing you in the next video.